Hi, I'm Darren Deskin. Um, I'm running for Fourth Ward Alderman in, in Lockport. I'm a, um, I've been to uh, quite a number of Tea Party uh, uh, events over, over the past year or so. The first event I went to was the event, uh, I think it was back in April, uh, and that's when I heard Cedra speak for the first time to look for volunteers. And so uh, the next day I went out and got her 200 signatures in, in my precinct. And then uh, got her probably another 50 uh, signatures down at the rally down at the courthouse whenever that was, a few uh, a month or so later. So um, so back when all the bad things that were talking, you know, that, that the Democrats tried to do to get Cedra off the ballot and talking about the signatures, what they were really talking about me because they were telling me that, uh, trying to say that the things that I did for her as a Tea Party candidate wasn't, wasn't uh, kosher, but that wasn't true. Uh, so I was, I was, I was uh, happy to work for, work for Cedra. I'm working quite hard for her to get, get uh, um, elected. I'm a native of Lockport. Um, I'll be 51 years old in 28 days, uh, a month from tomorrow. Um, I've spent most of my life in Lockport. I've uh, gone for 12 years, went away to college, got married, had a couple kids, moved back in 1990 to open up my, my, uh, my, my business. I'm a chiropractor. And uh, so uh, Lockport's been good to me It's for, for my entire life. So I remember Lockport when it was a very small town. I remember coming over the bridge. I can remember before the bridge was actually built, and there was a little sign that said Lockport uh, uh, 9000. And that, that sign didn't change for decades. And then when I came back in 1990, Lockport was probably around 15,000 or so, and now it's about 25,000. So, so I have a unique perspective about uh, about the city of Lockport. I remember I remember the old times. I remember when downtown was very vibrant, and also I was quite excited to see things uh, growing and expanding uh, when, um, when when I came back. But uh, Lockport of 2011 isn't the Lockport of, say, 2006, 2007, when the economy was booming. Right now the economy is, is pretty tough, and, uh, you know, we've had a lot of our neighbors uh, are having some tough times, quite a few foreclosures uh, going on in, in, in Lockport and also out in the Homer Glen area. And so I understand that, uh, you know, if, if elected, that I would try to be as physically responsible to the citizens of the city of Lockport as I'm physically responsible to my own household. And so I'm, I'm pretty frugal when it comes to things in the household. We eat a lot of chicken instead of steak, and uh, we drink a lot of water instead of pop. And um, so I, I'd be extremely frugal with, with, with people's money. One thing I hope to, uh, to accomplish is, uh, uh, in, in the next uh, four years is to, is, is to create an environment that when the, this recession breaks, and it's going to break sometime, it could be tomorrow, it could be a few years from now, but when the recession breaks, Lockport has to be resident friendly, business friendly, and commercial friendly. Because I know that our neighbors uh, to the east, east uh, out in Homer Glen, are going to be very residential friendly, very business friendly. Uh, very commercial friendly, so we have to compete with them, and so we have to create, we have to have an environment to go ahead and make sure that that people want to come and do business in Lockport. So, um, also, you know, we we've done we've seen things happen in Lockport in the, in the last uh, in the last couple of years. Uh, one of the things we had we have uh, we've addressed the infrastructure improvements, the water improvement uh, deal that they uh, it took about 12 months to go ahead and discuss that. Of course, we had the uh, uh, the road uh, cap improvement program that was that was uh, discussed, uh, and we had a sales tax referendum. I spent five and a half months going door to door in, in the uh, fourth ward, talked to tw well over 1,200 people, and discussed the uh, the the need to go ahead and vote yes for a sales for the sales tax referendum. And I'm very happy to say that we we won that two to two to one after being told by our current mayor that uh, Lockport uh, residents don't vote yes for referendums. So basically, what you know, I'm, I'm just asking people for for some for some help and for uh, uh, yeah, um, cooperation with the uh, uh, with my campaign. I'll go ahead and you know um, I'll promise I'll go ahead and, and do the best I can. One of the things I also do uh, will be doing here is, is I have a, an email tree that I will go ahead and um, and. Uh, 
after every city council meeting. I currently, after every city council meeting, will go ahead and send out a, uh, a little paragraph synopsis of what happened. I, could, I will continue to go ahead and do that. Uh, the response I've gotten over the past six months is extremely positive. People actually like to know what's going on. So um, that's basically it. Thank you.